Hey, I'm Amir. I'm with Adolescent Content, and I'm back with another episode of Native NYC. Today, we're in Crown Heights, <laughs> Brooklyn. My name is Olivia Rose Johnson. I'm a native of Crown Heights, culture consultant, musician, and creative right here in NYC. Let's get it. And where are we eating today? We're eating at Cafe Rudy's. So we're eating mafe, which is um, a fave of mine, comfort food, and a hot toddy with um, some Senegalese honey, which eats. And yeah, it's my favorite comfort food. I come here in times of need. Yeah, it's great. It always, it always, it always feeds the soul. So yeah, this is the first time in my life I'm ever trying like West African food. So wow. This is kind of a big day for me. Wait, add some sauce before you. What are you doing? Oh, Hello. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Put I'm some sorry. sauce in it. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Wow. This is like the perfect food to eat for this weather. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect meal. What do you love about New York City? It's crazy because it's like, I've been traveling so much because I caught myself kind of falling out of love with New York. Um, and I feel like coming back, I was able to really reignite that love. And the thing about it is like, the thing about New York is no one really gives a f about each other. I mean, we do in the sense that we respect each other. There's a huge underlying respect here but we're all very focused on our own lives, our own communities, our yeah, own everyone connections. Minds own everyone minds their own business. It's always refreshing to see a place that I can be, do, dress, and act exactly how I want without any type of filter, any type of limits, any type of censorship, you know, whether intentional or panoptical, and just be yeah, myself. I kind of relate to that because, especially when you grow up here your whole life, like, you don't get to see it how other people see it, you know? Like, everyone comes to I get so jealous it. about yeah. it. I always see that, y'all know about this, that one scene in most movies in New York where the girl's in the car, oh, yeah. on the bridge, looking out the window, yeah. peeping the city. I wish I could see New York the way a transplant can see New York. Oh, yeah. They also don't see, like, like the hard stuff, like the ugly stuff. I mean, that's why they leave at the end, yeah, exactly. usually. Yeah. They come, you know, and they try and they go. But, <laughs> you know, you know, we're native New Yorkers. I don't think it's like, I don't look at it as something based on like strength or perseverance for me because I'm from here. So you do creative strategy, styling, modeling, casting. So you want to talk about like what exactly you do and like honestly, what can she do at this point? Yeah, so I'm a culture consultant, a cultural curator, basically like, you know, doing events, doing campaigns, writing, producing. Okay. It's whatever I'm doing, I'm like focused on creative expression and I'm focused on visibility and visual expansion and disintegration of stereotypes. I started off with casting. Casting. I started off casting when I was 18. And the reason I liked casting, and I went back to casting after I, um, I was, you know, leading that nonprofit for a while, um, because it's just like casting is the quickest way to get the visibility you want. There's this campaign, like an HP commercial, and they'll request like an Asian man. Like, why were you putting instead of putting an Asian man in that HP commercial that like depicts as a nerd? Why don't you put a Stanford student who's actually in? computer science and happens to be like black or happens to be whatever he actually is and not confining, confining to stereotypes, but actually just creating realities that expand people's minds. That was my main thing that I was really interested in as a casting director. Yeah. And then producers were like, no, that's not what we want. Like, da, 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 da. And I started getting like pushback from producers and I was like, oh, okay, I have to be a producer now. So that's kind of like been the side journey I've been on. It's like, okay, now I have to like learn how to be a, be a producer because you're not getting it right, you know? What was, was that J. Cole? What'd he say? No role models. No role models that I'm here right now. What? What? Yeah, that's what's giving. <laughs> <laughs>